So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَكِ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And this statement by itself is amazing. And every Muslim, Muslim should have this memorized. When I go to churches, I tell them this is the equivalent of John 3.16. We see 3.16 everywhere. Go to a sports, watch a football game, you see it written everywhere. What does it mean? This is the essence of our belief about the Prophet ﷺ. 21.107 of the Qur'an. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكِ إِلَّا رَحْمَةٍ لِلْعَالَمِينَ so we, we did not send you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to the Prophet sallallahu in the second person in the Quran. He doesn't say, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مُحَمَّدًا Ka, kaful khitab. We did not send you. It's very personal. Speaking directly to the Prophet sallallahu Illa, an exception for strong emphasis. Rahmatan nakira. It's indefinite. Unlimited mercy. Unfathomable mercy. Mercy that is not restricted. Mercy to everything. Interestingly enough too, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ulama point out, he uses a noun here, he doesn't use a verb. He doesn't say, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَكَ إِلَّا أَن تَرْحَمْ الْعَالَمِينَ or something like that. We didn't send you except that you show mercy to people. Allah says, you are mercy. You are rahmatan. This is your that, this is your essence. That your mercy, alamin to all of the worlds. So he uses the indefinite oracle. The mercy of the Prophet ﷺ is something that is unrestricted, something that is unbelievable. The Prophet ﷺ, one time he came into the masjid and he saw a man and he was brokenhearted in the masjid in tears. And the Prophet ﷺ said, what's wrong with you? And he said, oh, I've done this and I've done that. He said, I don't want to hear it. Just come here. Just come over here. Let's sit. Raise your hands. Repeat after me. Allahumma maghfiratuk awsa' min dhunubi. Pray this dua with me. Oh Allah, your forgiveness is more vast than my sins, my transgressions. And he said, Qum, qad ghafar Allahu lak. Now stand up, your sins have been forgiven. The Prophet ﷺ had a deep concern for the ummah, not just for the ummah, a deep concern for all of humanity. ﷺ. When he was repeating that verse all night long, all night long, into adhibhum fa inna hum ibaduk wa in taqfir lahum fa inna ka anta al aziz al hakim. Our mother Aisha said that he recited this verse the whole night. Qama Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam bi ayatin min al Quran layla the entire night he's reciting this verse. If you punish them, they are your servants. But if you forgive them, if you forgive them, then you are great and wise. And then she said he collapsed into sajda, collapsed. And she heard him say, Allahumma ummati, Allahumma ummati. Praying for the ummah, Allahumma, what does it mean? It's a vocative address. The ulama say, when you say Allahumma, it means you're calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by all of his names and attributes. The ones you don't, the ones you know, and the ones you don't know. 